to another Excel chat walkthrough video. I'm your host, Kevin Kelly, and today we're going to be talking about data validation and how to get Excel to let me know when a cell is a number or when um, I'm trying to input something that's not a number and I have restrictions. Um, we're going to get right into it right now. So data validation is basically Excel letting me know that my data is correct or incorrect or, or what kind of value it is. So for example, uh, in this scenario, what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, is number function all throughout this video. And here we're going to use uh, if is number. So if the number in A2, uh, it says B2 on the article, but it's actually supposed to be A2. It's just a little typo there. Uh, so basically what we're saying here is we're using a logical test and then if the value is true, so if the value in column A is a number, then it's gonna return as number. Now, let's say for example, it's not, then we're just gonna have it return a blank cell. And as you can see, ABC is already blank, the cell next to it, because it's not a number, and then all the numbers uh, end up with the word number in the B column right next to them. So that's a simple and easy way to, you know, give a quick overview of which cells are numbers, which cells aren't, and it's a great way to um, divide data and really get down in there, especially when you have um, large data sheets. Um, this is how you do data validation. So with that being said, we'll go on to the next example here. Um, in the next example, we're just gonna talk about how you can restrict uh, certain things in Excel. So in this case, we're using data validation and we're gonna restrict column C to only numbers. So I'm gonna highlight column C two through six, and then I'm gonna go to, um, data, and then I'm going to data validation, and then here, I already have the formula in there, but it's is number C2, so I want all of these to be numbers, and I'm gonna apply this, and I'm gonna, let's say I wanna type in Google or something. So Microsoft's gonna give me a notification saying this value doesn't match the data restrictions, uh, and then we can hit retry, and then we'll put 15 and it works totally fine. So there's a way that you can go into Excel as well and go through the error message and have it display something else in case you're giving the Excel sheet to someone else and they don't know what the restrictions are. Um, you can say this column is limited to numbers only and then obviously that person will get the message. But um, so super easy to do to limit uh, columns or rows to certain data and that is how you do it. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.